What's going on everybody? Uh, this video is a tutorial on how to calibrate your ESC uh, specifically for multi-rotors, quadcopters, hexacopters, that type. Um, the best way to do this is to have one of these. It's a ESC programming card. You can get this at almost any online hobby store for about nine bucks. And this particular brand is a knockoff of a lot of Chinese made ESCs, which are most of them. Um, for example, this one is a Dietram Dynam ESC, which works on this programming card. This card also works on Skywalkers, Turnigees from Hobby King, and um, a few other ones on eBay. But like I said, the best way to do that is with this. Um, you could do it with a transmitter but that is pretty hard to do especially with four ESCs or if you have a hexacopter six ESCs so this would be the best way to do it just spend 10 bucks on this and you'll be good first thing you want to do is plug your ESC to your programming card make sure the wires are in the right direction You got your negative. Oops, you can see that. Negative, positive, signal. Okay, your signal wire is gonna be either white or orange. Okay, and your ground is gonna be either black or brown. Positive is always gonna be red. Most of the time anyway. Alright, so now that you have your ESC hooked up to your programming cord, you're gonna hook up your battery. That's, you're not gonna use uh, your transmitter yet or anything like that. I'm gonna show you that later on. Once you got the whole setup, and uh, by the way, you would wanna plug in your motor, that way you know when everything's powered up, it makes that little beep sound. So for multi-rotors, you wanna you want to have the brake off. See if I can zoom in here without messing up my. Yep. I think that's good. All right. You want your brake off. All right. Battery type. You want it in a NICAD NIXX, as it says right there. You don't want it in LIXX. That that means lipo. Okay. Um. Because a lot of ESCs they have a lipo cutoff, and once the voltage hits that low, everything just shuts off, and your cop copter is just gonna fall off, fall out of the sky. And um, cutoff type, you don't want it um, on soft or medium. You just want it to leave it off. That means cut off. All right. Uh, voltage cutoff, you'd want that low. Uh, start mode, you could leave it at normal. Okay, I think you get away with soft. Timing, middle. Um, some ESCs you'd want to play with, but for the most part, most ESCs will be happy in middle timing. Uh, sometimes low, but mostly middle. Okay. The governor, you'd want that off. All right, now that I showed you how you want that, those settings, I'm gonna show you how to select. That way you get to that setting. Um, you got the up and down arrow. Ooh, come on. Having problems with the camera. I just want to zoom in. Alright. That's the best I could do. You have the up and down button right here, which will. Now you're on that part of the programming card, which is the brake. Could either press the left and right button, which is right here, to switch either on or off. Like I said, you want that on off, and then press the down button again. It'll and you're just gonna keep on going down until you have the proper settings in there. Once you have all the settings correct, you just want to press OK, 
and then when that blue light stops that, that means that ESC is already programmed all right once you're done with that you just want to unplug your battery and that's it and that ESC is already programmed all right you want to do that on all four ESCs or have a, however many ESCs you're using for that copter now I'm going to show you how to set your throttle range you, you want to calibrate your throttle that way um, all four ESCs are on the same level whether you have your stick on middle on a transmitter or a little bit low you don't want one ESC to be spinning faster than the other ones because you know the flight's not going to be that good all right now to set the throttle range for ESC you're going to want to do this uh, for each ESC all right uh, first you want to plug in your ESC to the throttle channel of your receiver uh, in my case that would be channel 3 and make sure the wires are in the right position meaning signal is in the signal pin and so on next you're going to push your throttle stick all the way up and power your transmitter next you're going to want to plug in your ESC to the battery all right just exactly this setup um, your motor is gonna have a sequence of beeps which after those beeps you're gonna want to push your throttle stick down and then you're gonna have one beep confirming that the throttle has been set just like that now your throttle range has been set and you're going to want to power off your ESC first and then shut off your transmitter and then to test that out power your transmitter back on plug your ESC and then give it a spin And that's how you calibrate your ESC for multi-rotors with a programming card and set your throttle range, calibrate your throttle. Pretty easy. All right, if you liked the video, if it was helpful, leave a like, if you have any questions, comment, and please subscribe. Thanks, bye.